El Reno, Oklahoma. El Reno is a city in and county seat of Canadian County, Oklahoma, United States. As of the 2010 census, the city population was 16,729. The city was begun shortly after the 1889 land rush and named for the nearby Fort Reno. It is located in the central part of the state, approximately west of downtown Oklahoma City, and is part of the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Statistical Area. The city was originally located about 5 miles, 8 kilometers, north of its present location, on the banks of the North Canadian River, bearing the name Reno City, which caused its mail to get mixed up with mail for Reno, Nevada. After the second time the town flooded, it was moved to its present location and changed at its name to El Reno. This word is Spanish for the reindeer. Historic Fort Reno was built in 1874, and first commanded by General Philip Sheridan. He named it in honor of his friend, Gen. Jesse L. Reno, who was killed in the Civil War. The grounds of the old fort became home to a research laboratory for the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 1948. The laboratory studies environmentally sustainable forage and livestock production, contributing to preservation off Great Plains of North America. El Reno is located on the 98th meridian, which allowed the eastern side to be open to non-Indian settlement in the land run of 1889. The western side was opened in the 1892 opening of the Cheyenne and Arapaho lands. It was subsequently selected as the land district office for the 1901 land lottery drawings. During World War II, Fort Reno, about northwest of El Reno, was the site of a prisoner of war camp, and today contains a POW cemetery with stones bearing the names of German and Italian prisoners who died there. Southwestern Federal Reformatory, restricted to male prisoners under the age of 35, was constructed about west of El Reno in 1935. Renamed the Federal Correctional Institution of El Reno in the mid-1970s, the population expanded to include men of all ages. It became the fifth largest prison in the U.S. It is still one of the largest employers in El Reno. It is the only city in Oklahoma to have a streetcar in operation in the downtown area. At one time it possessed a terminal and repair facility for the CRINP, Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad, or Rock Island, Railroad, which employed a large number of people. The CRINP went bankrupt in 1975. The railroad yards have remained vacant property. The old depot and some other buildings were acquired by the Canadian County Historical Society for use as part of a museum complex. The 1954 film Noir Human Desire includes locomotive and yard scenes filmed in the El Reno rail yards. El Reno is a Main Street community. The Oklahoma Main Street program is a downtown revitalization program and the El Reno program won the Great American Main Street Award in 2006. The town is noted for its annual Fried Onion Burger Day Festival which is always the first Saturday in May. Burger Day is where you can witness the cooking off the world's largest fried onion hamburger, weighing over 850 pounds, 400 kilograms. The giant burger contains all the important parts of the famous El Reno fried onion burgers which includes meat, fried onions, sliced pickles, and mustard all between two giant buns. Not only do festival goers get to watch the massive burger be built and cooked, but they are also allowed to help eat the monstrosity. Volunteers divide the giant burger into individual sized portions with burger sized cookie cutters. Other volunteers shuttle back and forth from the burger to the crowd, delivering the free portions to anyone wanting a piece. The idea of the fried onion burger was born out of necessity during the Great Depression, where onions were used to stretch out the meat supply. On June 15, 2015, Sid's Diner was featured on the Food Network series Top 5 Restaurants. With the fried onion burger being highlighted. Sid's Diner has also been featured on the Travel Channel series Man V. Food. El Reno was hit by a multiple vortex tornado on May 31, 2013. The tornado set a record with a width of. The Weather Channel's Mike Betts was hit by this storm, but survived it. Tim Samaras, his son Paul, and Twistex colleague Carl Young lost their lives near the regional airport. Paul and Young were ejected from their Chevrolet Cobalt by the tornado's subvortex while Tim was still buckled in the passenger seat next to Young's driving seat. Local amateur chaser, Richard Henderson lost his life in that same area. Before the tornado struck him, Henderson snapped a picture of it from his cellular phone and sent that picture to a friend. Dan Robinson of St. Louis Missouri successfully escaped the tornado with a few injuries. He was a few hundred meters ahead of the Twistex crew. El Reno is located at 35.530261, 
minus 97.957529. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which, of it is land and of it, 0.56%, is water. El Reno is located in the United States at the interchange of I-40 and U.S. Route 81. At one time it sat on the boundary between Oklahoma Territory and Indian Territory, and sits about west of the old Chisholm Trail. Jesse Chisholm is buried nearby. In 1952, a magnitude 5.5 earthquake struck near El Reno, causing damage to several buildings in the city. It is currently Oklahoma's third strongest earthquake on record, and it was the strongest earthquake in Oklahoma history prior to the November 5, 2011 earthquake near Sparks. El Reno has endured numerous weather-related incidents in recent years. As of the census of 2010, there were 16,749 people, 5,727 households, and 3,842 families residing in the city. The population density was 202.7 people per square mile, 78.3 per square kilometer. There were 6,484 housing units at an average density of 81.1 per square mile, 31.3 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 71.8% white, 11.1% Native American, 7.2% African American, half a percent Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 4.6% from other races, and 4.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 12.9% of the population. There were 5,727 households out of which 31.7% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 50.0% were married couples living together, 12.7% had a female householder with no husband present, and 32.9% were non-families. 28.5% of all households were made up of individuals and 12.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.50 and the average family size was 3.08. In the city, the age distribution of the population shows 24.2% under the age of 18, 10.5% from 18 to 24, 30.8% from 25 to 44. 21.1% from 45 to 64, and 13.4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35 years. For every 100 females, there were 114.7 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 119.5 males. The median income for a household in the city was $31,200, and the median income for a family was $39,106. Males had a median income of $29,521 versus $20,107 for females. The per capita income for the city was $15,570. About 11.4% of families and 16.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 19.6% of those under age 18 and 10.4% of those age 65 or over. The city of El Reno operates under a council manager government system. City employees include the city manager, finance director, police chief, fire chief, city clerk, public works director, code enforcement director, community services director and city librarian. The Federal Bureau of Prisons operates the Federal Correctional Institution, El Reno in El Reno. The El Reno Tribune publishes Wednesday and Sunday and has a circulation of about 5,000. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.